Hey what is up buds, my name is Teja and you're watching TechRaj YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to see what people are browsing on your Wi-Fi network. Without further ado, let's get started. DNS stands for Domain Name Services. The job of DNS is to resolve a domain name into its particular IP address so that any device which wants to communicate with a particular web page knows where the web server of that particular web page exists on the internet. When you want to visit a website or use any internet service, your web browser is going to send a request to your DNS server. This DNS server is basically configured by your router or by your ISP. You can even configure your own DNS server by accessing your control panel and you can use any DNS server of your choice. After the DNS server receives a request, it is going to resolve the domain name into an IP address and the connection is made to that IP address, which is going to reach the web server at the end. In this method, we are going to replace our existing DNS server with OpenDNS. This OpenDNS is going to show us the request that it received from your network, which means that we will now be able to see all the web pages or all the requests that are made to web pages from our Wi-Fi network. Now let us see how to configure our Wi-Fi router to use OpenDNS as its DNS server. Firstly go to OpenDNS.com and click on Login. Now you will be taken to a page like this. Over here, just click on Sign Up. Once you see a screen like this, enter all the details like your first name, last name, company email, company phone, company name and your country. Once you are done entering your details, click on Create My Trial. As you can see here it says your free trial is almost ready and you will get a 14 day free trial. Now you should receive a confirmation email from OpenDNS. So open your inbox and check for the email. Once you click on activate your account, you will be taken to a screen like this. Over here create a password and click on submit. Now go ahead and log into your account. Then you will see a pop up like this. First of all, copy these two IP addresses into your notepad. Now go ahead and give your network a name. Finally, click on next. Click on next again and then select start using Cisco umbrella. Now you need to download and install the OpenDNS IP address updating tool on your computer because you might be having a dynamic IP address and you have to do it if you have a dynamic IP address. Don't worry as I'll be putting the links to download the IP updater tool in the description below. Once downloaded, run the setup file and proceed with the installation process. Now open the tool and log in with your OpenDNS account credentials. Once it is done, just close the window. Now it's time to configure your Wi-Fi router. Open your command prompt as administrator and type in ipconfig slash all. Under wireless LAN adapter, note the default gateway and copy it. Now go to your browser, open a new tab and paste the IP address into the destination bar and hit enter. Now you will see your Wi-Fi router space like this. Log into your Wi-Fi router by using your credentials. In most cases, the default credentials will be admin and admin. Once you click on login, you will see your Wi-Fi router space like this. However, if you are using a different Wi-Fi router, the user interface of your Wi-Fi router page may be different from mine. Now you need to change the DNS server address. If you are using a TP-Link router and if you are having the same page as mine, you will find this option when you click on networks and then you can see a page like this over here select use these dns servers and go back to your notepad where you copy the dns server addresses and paste the two dns server addresses into the primary dns and secondary dns respectively once you pasted this just click on save now you have successfully configured your wi-fi router so that it uses the open dns servers to test whether the changes made are successful, open your browser and go to internetbadguys.com. Make sure you are connected to your Wi-Fi network. 
And if a page like this shows up that the site is blocked because it's a phishing site, then congrats, you have successfully configured your router to use the OpenDNS service. Now you're ready to go. Now go back to your Cisco Umbrella dashboard and click on Overview. You need to wait at least 24 hours to start seeing the reports on your dashboard. After around 24 hours, you can start seeing the reports on your dashboard. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and also do subscribe for more awesome videos. Leave a comment below if you have any doubts regarding this video. I'll try to reply to your comment. And also show me some love by sharing this video with your friends. So go ahead, share this video with your friends and let your friends know about my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching once again. Cheers. Have a nice day. Another way of achieving the same task of seeing what other people are browsing on your Wi-Fi is by doing ARP poisoning. To learn about what is meant by ARP poisoning and how to do it, watch one of my other video tutorials. The link to that video will be in the description below and in the suggested cards above.